We use electricity in so many ways that we take the supply for granted. But sometimes we have to measure it, as Don found one evening. He needed better light at his table to work at his hobby of flashlights and electrical cells. But as he went to plug in his work lamp... Hold on. I'd better not plug in here. It looks as if Mom is getting ready to iron some clothes. And with that heater going to dry the baby's things, why, that's just the way we blew a fuse last week. Don't want to do that again. Have to figure out what we can do before Mom comes to iron. Let's see. This takes 750 watts at 120 volts. And the fuse? Let me see. It's like this one. 15 amperes. Ooh. I have to figure this out. Wish I knew more about these things. Volts, watts, hampers. What are these things? What is a volt? I'm Volta. I'm Volta. See? Here I am, over here in your book. Alessandro Volta. Perhaps I can help you to think what is this volt that they call after me. After you? Yes. I produce the first source of volts, or voltage, with a copper zinc cell. Oh, we've made them in school. Yes, I know. Simply copper and zinc in a solution of water and soda, and you have a cell like the one I made over a century ago. With that, I discovered that electricity flows as the result of electrical pressure, or voltage, as you now call it. Electrical pressure? I don't quite understand. What do you mean? Volt is a unit of the force that moves electrons as you move, uh, say, your lawnmower. You must make the pressure with your hands to make it move. The more push or pressure, the better it goes. Now, in electricity, you use a voltmeter as a pressure gauge to measure the push or pressure of the electrons in volts. Now, your fresh copper zinc cell, how much pressure? Oh, about one volt. You know, I'm catching on. Volts measure electrical pressure. Huh, I'm a poet. Volts measure electrical pressure. The pressure in volts is one factor that determines how much current goes through a circuit. What's that again? Current? How do you measure current? Oh, that is where I come in. I am Ampere. I'm over on the next page. Andre Ampere. I discovered how electrical current flows. So the unit of movement of electricity was named after me. Okay, so it's named after you. What is an ampere? Well, ampere, as you call it now, is a measure of current flow. How can I explain? Uh, have you some pennies in your pocket? So, imagine that each penny represents a billion, billion electrons. Now, if you move six pennies, or six billion, billion electrons past a point each second, you have a current of one ampere. Wow! Electrons are so tiny that billion electrons per second is not a practical unit of measure. So you use ampere as a measure of current flow, just as in a gas pump, the flow of gasoline is measured in gallons per minute. I get it. Amperes measure flow of current. Current that's forced through the circuit by pressure measured in volts. But depending on resistance, that's where I come in. I'm Ohm. George Ohm. I discovered that various materials have different electrical resistances. Let's see. Resistance. That's sort of what holds back the lawnmower, isn't it? 
Yes. My name, Ohm, is a unit of resistance. How hard it is for the electron to move. Could I see how that works with my dry cells here? Certainly. Take that bulb, the one from the two-cell flashlight, and wire it to the cell. Now that dry cell can push with a certain pressure. Yes, one and one-half volts. And when you complete the circuit, the dry cell pushes a certain amount of current through the bulb. Yes, current. That's measured in amperes. But it's not very bright. Well, the bulb has a high resistance. Let us try the pressure from two batteries. Hook them positive to negative, the way they are in your flashlight. Then the voltages are added. You see, to get past more resistance in the same way requires more pressure. Let's see. Two cells of one and one half volts each should add up to three volts of pressure. That's what it measures, all right, three volts. Now, does that pressure make it brighter? It should push more current through. The more volts you have, the more amperes you push through. But if there are more ohms of resistance, less amperes get through. My law, Ohm's law, is important to you. The current in amperes is equal to the pressure in volts, divided by the resistance in ohms. Or simply, amperes equals volts over ohms. That's neat. Now I can figure all sorts of current flows. So, that flashlight bulb has a resistance of about six ohms. With two cells just now, how much current flowed through it? Let's see, the current in amperes. We said two cells have three volts of pressure, but there's resistance, six ohms. Why, the current is five-tenths of an ampere. You can also figure current where you know only the volts and the watts. Watts? What is a watt? Perhaps I can help you, laddie. My name is Watt, James Watt. My steam engines were the source of power for the early electrical generators. The Watt was named after me. It is a unit of electrical power. What? A unit of power? Aye, it is just like horsepower. You've heard of a 4,000 horsepower locomotive. Horsepower, that's a unit of rate of work done. So much work done, in so much time. Work per hour, that's horsepower. See, I'm a poet too. But remember the time element. Watts also are a unit of power. Work per hour, like horsepower. Your pennies that represent electrons, pushing so many electrons per second past a point with so much pressure, takes power in watts. So electrical power is the product of multiplying current times the pressure behind it. One watt is equal to one ampere multiplied by one volt. So this 100 watt bulb under pressure of 120 volts Carries uh, a little less than one ampere? That's correct. Now, about your problem. Mother's iron over on the counter has a power of 1,000 watts, has it not? And it is made to operate at 120 volts. So, the current is... Over eight amperes. I catch on. To find the amperes, divide the watts by the volts. And that heater takes 750 watts. That's more than six amperes. Now that plus over eight from the iron makes more than 14. And if I add one from this bulb, 
<laughs> no wonder the fuse blew. Oh, golly. That must be me sleeping at the table. Oh, those men. Those units of measuring electricity. Volt, amper, ohm, watt, power. Ohm's law. I must have dreamt it all. Now Don can figure just how much power can come through that 15 ampere fuse. Can you? Thank you.